Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. For those who are returning and welcome for those who are new, we are back at it again, but it is just a mid-year checkup. You might have seen the more cozy chit-chat. But anyway, this is going to be a lot. So grab a cup of coffee, whatever snack you want to chomp on, and let's get to it! Okay, so there's some bullet points that I want to cover. I have my Brain Dump Commonplace book right here, and it's in the A6 Stalogy. All of my planner covers are from either She Sparrow or the Traveler's Company. I'm not going to do like full on flip throughs. Um, if there are specific ones that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. I may do a separate video for that. And the ones that I've already covered, you'll find them on my channel. So just peruse. I do have a playlist of all my journals and planners, so check that out. Oh, I just kind of wanted to show you all this. I hooked up my printer finally to my MacBook. And so now I am just printer happy. <laughs> and I've been printing a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm also trying to use my freebies. So I got free photo paper anytime I get new ink. Like I said, I just recently hooked up my printer to my new MacBook because I just got a new MacBook. So that's that. I'm going to go over my bullet points. I'm not including my work or professional TNs because there's no need for bringing my professional life into my personal space. I'm going to end up doing a separate video for my number eight setup because I've made some changes and I do want to share that with you. But other than that, like they stay locked up in my file cabinet at work. Okay, so in my lineup, I have 12 now. No, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've got 10, yeah, 12 altogether. But some of them I use on a regular, some of them mm, semi-regular, and some of them I barely use. So we're going to talk about that. So I am going to try to keep this video short because I love watching long videos from other creators. I just don't like making them. <laughs> so there's three big changes. One of which is this commonplace book, Brain Dump. So hold on one second. I'm going to grab my B6 Allergy and this is in the Meteorite Leather Chic Sparrow. I'm not setting it up yet because I'm not ready for it. I'll be setting that up once this fills up and I have less than 100 pages. So that's what's changing in the future. The next thing is my reading journal, which I've already changed. I'm going to move the, this out of the way. I got this because my art journal, which is in the Emma A6, I got it because I was using this more like a art slash literature journal, but I ended up using a bunch of pages for my reading journal portion of it. Uh, where is it? Hold on, sorry. Okay, so this section was for my book section and I just, yeah, I used a whole bunch of them. So then I was like, okay, I really want to conserve this for my art. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Collections of like my pens, my stamps, and some washi tape, and other things. And then I draw. And I'm an amateur, y'all. Okay? Just so you know. So I decided that I want to write more in my reading TN. Like I said, I'm not going to do a flip through of all of my books because it'll be entirely too long. I'm not one of those people who have a goal of reading like 20 books a year or anything like that. I savor my books and I usually read about three, sometimes four books simultaneously. These are the books I am starting to read or have been reading. So, well, this is my French dictionary. So I've been carrying this around and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I started reading Withering Heights. I actually already read like half of the book a few years back and I lost my place. <laughs> so I'm starting over. Uh, that's the kind of person I am in terms of my reading habits. I don't monitor my reading. I do want to document journaling, those kind of things. And then 
I'm reading this and then uh, I also have a uh, reference material right here which I'm not going to show this book. So I do self-help books, novels, and also personal growth, nonfiction, those kind of things. The reason why I wanted to bring that up in terms of my dictionary is because of my language TN. This is also a duo of my travel TN. So like when I go out of town, those kind of things. What I've done recently, what has changed, is I started to journal daily in here. And you might have seen it in my little cozy mid-year 2024 chat. I got this MD paper and I switched from the normal free insert that they give you in the passport. This is funny. So I took a picture of what was in my bag. I just got the Chic Sparrow Rustic Tote recently and so I took a picture <laughs> of what was in it. That's too funny. So I don't know if I can even show you this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. And if I have to cover it, I will. But here's my little pup. Went to the park. Here's the mic that I have that I'm testing. And here's the rustic tote that I was talking about. The wrapping paper that was in it, in the box when I unboxed it. So yeah, I've been doing that and I'm hoping that I would start to like this passport because I really don't like the overhang. Oh, it just really irks me so bad. See the overhang? Oh, I just don't like it. Anyway, that's that. So far, bringing it with me to work every day, putting it in my bag. That has helped. And also getting that paper. I'm just kind of looking at my notes. Okay, so I talked about the three changes. I still have my Jesus journal within, I think this is the number seven, Cove Banks. So I'm still using it and I absolutely love it. I like how it's so lightweight. I'm almost done with this book. I have just a few more pages left. I'm thinking of actually taking my old homeschool book that I used to use, this one. I'm gonna take the pages out of here and use this book. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, this was my son's homeschool TN. Since he graduated high school, I'm gonna end up using this because I really don't want to waste it. So it's still the same. I still have my sermon notes in here when my pastor is going over his sermons. And yeah, so I love this TN. All right, this is the Drummond A5 Chic Sparrow. It's still the same. I do my monthly bills, all the expenses that we have, groceries, gas, things like that. And then on the front, is my goals. Estate planning, college fund, retirement, those kind of things are kept in here. And so that is that. And then next is my home tan. It's in the wide size Black Beauty and it's still the same. I have a pencil in here and regular Sharpie pen. Most of my books that stay home have the Sharpie pen in it because I use mostly Moleskine booklets like this or Leuchtturm paper or the generic paper that you get from your local brick and mortar stores like Barnes and Noble, places like that. Okay, um, so for my home TN, I use it on a regular because I have to keep track of doctor's appointments, important events, birthdays, vacation. Let me see if I can, okay, yeah, I could show you this. So like I keep track of all the holidays that are happening and then these are my vacation weeks. Yeah, I cover them up because I don't necessarily want the whole world to know when I'm gonna be out of town, right? That's not very safe. Um, <laughs> And then I have dates of when we put our air filters in our home, oil changes, repairs for car, uh, shows that we're looking forward to, our subscriptions uh, for streaming. So yeah, hasn't really changed. Here's a log of my purchases, like online ordering, when 
should come in and when it arrives. So that's that. I do journal in here as well. Okay, so there was a point. I tried to do like meals that we have on a weekly. That didn't last very long. I um, actually got tired of keeping track of it. Like, what's the point? We eat the same things over and over. <laughs> I did that because I wanted to kind of track the meals that we ate and to mix it up a little bit, but I got tired of doing that. And I do some pen tests. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty much the same. I haven't really changed anything. Love this TN. It keeps me organized for home stuff. This hasn't changed either. This is my memory TN and it's in the B6 creme chocolate. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, use it on a regular. There has been a lot of events. Let me see if there's something I can share. Hold on. One moment. Okay, I'm just going to share like this page because it's still blank. And so this is, you know, what it looks like. I put stickers, ephemera, and I draw sometimes on it. Sometimes I paint. But there's been a lot of big events. One of the biggest events this year is my daughter coming back from Japan. As you all probably have heard multiple times. But yeah, so she, I'm just showing the ones that are not used yet. And then like everybody's getting married in 2024, it seems like. Um, <laughs> Uh, also, yeah, lots of milestones, graduations for college, birthday parties, those kind of things. So like a lot has been going on in 2024. It's been super, super crazy busy. I tell you that. Okay. This has a lot of personal stuff, so I'm not actually going to go through it. As I mentioned before, and I sound like a broken record, I do not show the details on this TN because it stays home. It talks about my family in detail, so I really don't show this. It also has a lot of pictures of our travels. I don't really want to show faces of my family. I don't think they would appreciate that. Not just my immediate family, but my aunts, uncles, cousins, yeah. That's their privacy and all that. So what's next? Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's time to go over my commonplace brain dump book. I'll show you, let's see, this section I'll show because you all have seen some of this before. It hasn't changed. I'm still using it the same way. So I put my editing stuff. I uh, covered the ones that are not done yet, but I'm still working on and I'm editing. And um, I still use it in the same way. Y'all have seen these already, so you can see them. The ones that are covered are not done yet. I edit usually about three videos at a time because I don't want to get bored. That's just the way I do it. And yeah, this is what I'm actually covering with you now. Okay, where was I? And then of course, these in the front are pretty overviews of what I want to cover in my videos, but I'm not going to actually go over that. You can of course see the one that I already covered in one of my videos. So I'm not going to go over that. See, is there anything else that you saw already? Yep, you saw that already. Okay, so it, it pretty much stays the same. This is my tracking, all of the ones that I edit when I upload. There's my calendar for June. I already have a July set up for my calendar. And basically what I do is for that particular week, what items I'm editing at that week and when I upload. Okay, so all of that's still the same. I still journal in here. I still do my fashion stuff in here. Still do pen tests and things like that in here. And I also, you know, just messy writing. This is about the search for the perfect black bag. I did 
that you already saw that was in the beginning of the year. There's still several ones that um, I haven't covered yet, so I'm not gonna show those because um, I want that to be a surprise. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same. I'm still using it the same, but I am really, really going fast. I'm writing a lot more. That's why I'm switching to my B6, Nostalgy. So I'm really excited for that. Okay, next, hold on, okay. My EDCs. Y'all who have been following me for a while know that I flip-flop between the three sizes. This is my May Leather in the personal size. This is the Creme in the Huckleberry in the pocket size. And then this is the Nano in the Mr. Darcy. So they all have the same thing. And I'm only going to focus on one because this is the one I'm in now. So I actually stopped using this on purpose for a little while because I ran out of these. Oh, I forgot to, oh, let me see, hold on. Okay, so I ran out of these weekly personal size from Paper Penguin. So I just ordered some recently and I'm excited to get those. So once I get more of those, then I'll go back into my personal hands but everything that I have in here is also in here and also in here so I'll show you the pocket size okay so again I'm not doing a full-on flip of all of these tans because that's a super long video so I have I'm going to show you an old journal entry because I think this is the one that I showed you the last time but I still have my journal and it's still in this Moleskine and I have my list book. Okay, I'll just show you my wish list and then I'll show you my cleaning list. It doesn't have sensitive info on there. So I have grocery list, list of things that I have to like a vacation, packing list, what we need to get done, like book the flight, book the hotel, things like that. So I just, you know, write down those kind of lists in here as well. And then I'll show you my weekly Okay, so I can show, yeah, I can show this. Okay, so this is my weekly for, it's been super, super busy. I cannot tell you I'm running out of space in this pocket size, but like I said, I stopped using my personal TN because I have um, I've run out of those weeklies. I could probably make my own weeklies, but I do like having the Paper Penguin. I want to support small businesses and I like her stuff. I've been ordering from Paper Penguin for the last couple of years. She's really good. Okay, now the next one. Oh, and I guess I can show you this month. So this is June. So I think I covered all of the sensitive stuff. So here's my monthly, April, May, in June. I'm not going to show you July because it actually has some sensitive stuff in there that I haven't covered. So I'm going to stop here. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for my EDC. So like I said, everything that's in here is also in the other sizes. And y'all, I just, oh, I love the creme leather. I love the creme leather. And this is such a pretty color. This huckleberry. It smells so good. Yeah, all of the TNs that I have smell so good. Okay, I have my Goals TN, and this is the Train Station Tokyo Special Edition from the Traveler's Company. I use this moderately. This is more of a projection and reflection type of thing. So what I do is my monthly, I already set up June. I don't even know if I can share this with you because I didn't even cover it, whatever. But here's what it would look like. My projection is basically I project like what I plan on doing or what my goals are for the month, what I want to focus on. So like my no spends, my low spends, reading, exercise, things like that. And then a reflection is when I look back at it and okay, did I do it? You know, now there are long term goals in this closer to the back. Um, I also have one. 
my progress. I know y'all have seen this already before. And of course I journal sometimes in here. This y'all haven't seen, but I've had this for a while actually. And I just kind of add to it. These are my past struggles, motivation, chores, gratitude. And then here are my how to overcome obstacles for my devotions, my savings, language, reading, our forever home. There is a home that we are going to be purchasing where we're going to be retiring. This home that we're at now is mainly to leave with the kids have it as rental property what have you and then here are my goals for youtube staying positive exercise so y'all have seen that i believe so yeah i mean that's pretty much what this tn is about and i look it over maybe once a month um, sometimes a couple of times a month but you know for the most part it's not something i use on a daily basis all right y'all i believe that's it i think i covered everything I definitely look forward to seeing you again at the end of the year in 2024 when I do my reflection video, just to let you know how it turned out with all the stuff that I'm using because this year has been going by so fast. So I anticipate that coming quickly. I do want to thank all the subs that subbed recently, all the ones that have been with me for quite some time, really appreciate it. And if you are interested in this type of content, don't forget to sub. I don't have a upload schedule so whatever you see is what you will get and I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye